Clifton Grady was born in Athens, Georgia in 1850. He graduated from the University of Georgia and became a reporter and park owner of the Atlanta Daily Herald. That was the beginning of an illustrious career in journalism and public life. In 1874, Grady published an editorial in the Herald entitled The New South. He argued for industrial development to spur economic growth in the region devastated so recently by civil war. His writing was vivid, assertive, and popular with readers. Stockholders from another newspaper, the Atlanta Constitution, were so impressed with Grady's writing, they offered him part ownership in their paper and made him managing editor. Under Grady's leadership, the young Atlanta Constitution thrived. It became a national platform for Grady's political views. Acting as the voice of the Atlanta Ring, a group of Democrats advocating for more industry in the South, Grady became the leader of the Ring and a dynamic political force. With Grady's endorsement, Ring member Joseph E. Brown was elected to the United States Senate in 1880. Grady was also instrumental in seating other Ring members in high office, like John B. Gordon, elected Georgia governor in 1886. A charismatic speaker, Grady was known as the spokesman of the New South, a label earned in part by a speech he gave to the prestigious New England Society of New York in 1886. The speech brought together key ideas that Grady had been honing, northern investment in the South and southern industrial growth. After Grady's New York speech, he published numerous articles in the Constitution touting Atlanta as an ideal location for industry and investment. The promotions paid off. The city became a host to a series of cotton expositions in the 1880s and 90s. The expos were vast industrial fairs that brought in millions of dollars and created thousands of jobs. The South's gradual but remarkable recovery from the Civil War was partly due to Grady's near one-man campaign to bring prosperity to the region. But Grady was not without his critics, most notably on the issue of race. In speeches and editorials to lure investors, he downplayed racial tensions in the South. But many Northerners and others were skeptical of Grady's claims that African Americans in Georgia enjoyed what he termed fair treatment. Henry Grady died young at age 39 in 1889 after a bout with pneumonia. As a writer and speaker, his career was brief but brilliant and influential. His movement fixed fast-growing Atlanta as a symbol of the New South, and it spurred the economy of the entire region. The state's 139th county was named for Grady, and the University of Georgia's Grady College, established in 1921, bears his name.